Hello, my name is Dr. Rodney Banwart, and I am a principal scientist here at Emory Pharma. Today, I'm here to talk about LCMS peptide mapping of biologics. Prior to Emory, I was at Alcon and Novartis for 10 years, where we studied biologics of molecules by LCMS. These molecules included antibodies, uh, antibody fragments, and therapeutic proteins. Before that, I studied isolation and identification of small molecules at Pfizer in La Jolla. I have approximately 20 years total experience on LCMS analysis working with instruments such as QTOFs and Orbitraps. I have worked on biologic compounds from early development stage all the way through to commercialization. The peptide mapping aspect of this work characterizes sequence coverage, post-translational modifications, disulfide scrambling, GMP release, and sequence variants. Biologics, such as monoclonal antibodies, have molecular weights of more than 148,000 and require several different analytical methods to characterize the chemical properties. By comparison, small molecule pharmaceuticals have molecular masses close to 500 and typically have one definitive HPLC method. This is not the case for biologic molecules. However, the gold standard method for confirming the primary sequence of biologics is LCMS peptide mapping. In this method, the protein sample is digested enzymatically and then injected into Emory Pharma's high-field Orbitrap UPLC MS system the peptides are identified based on the observed versus expected molecular masses. In the peptide digest workflow, the protein sample is denatured followed by reduction and alkylation. The denaturation and reduction opens up the body of the protein to allow the enzyme to access and digest the inner areas of the protein. Alkylation then prevents the cysteines from recombining. Trypsin or other enzyme is added and the sample is digested at 37 degrees. Trypsin hydrolyzes the sequence on the carboxyl side of the lysine and the arginine residues, generating peptides of a smaller size that can be chromatographed in the UPLC MS system. 100% coverage is not often obtained, and so our frequent strategy uses a subsequent digest with an enzyme that has a complementary hydrolytic properties. Enzymes such as GLU-C can be used for this purpose. The peptide mapping chromatogram of the NIST reference material obtained here at Emory Pharma is presented on this slide. As can be seen, the result is complex with hundreds of peptides of varying intensities found. But with modern software and sufficient time, each of these peptides can be identified. This is how information on sequence coverage post-translational modifications and sequence variants is obtained. At Emory Pharma, the sequence coverage found for the NISMAB was 93% for both the heavy and light chains and is clearly illustrated on this slide. On the next slide, common modifications found in monoclonal antibodies and other proteins are illustrated. The detailed modifications include oxidation, deamidation, glycosylation, and disulfide scrambling. In conclusion, LCMS peptide mapping provides information on sequence verification, post-translational modifications, and sequence variants. The method is useful for early stage ID, comparability and characterization studies, and GMP release. Thank you, and I hope this was useful information for you. If you have any more questions, please contact us at emerypharma.com for any further inquiries.